Chinatowns around the world tend to have a distinct iconic look, but it's not because they're what real Chinese cities once looked like. In the 1800s, San Francisco's Chinese American population found refuge from early waves of anti-Asian hate in an area that came to be known as Chinatown. Back then, it had standard Western architecture. Here's how that changed. As it grew, San Francisco's city planners started to smear Chinatown as filthy. They saw it as prime real estate and planned to move it miles away from downtown. But in 1906, an earthquake ripped through San Francisco, killing thousands and destroying Chinatown. The city saw it as an opportunity to move forward with their plan to move Chinatown. But before that could happen, Chinese American businessmen came up with a new plan to cement their place in the city by transforming Chinatown into a tourist attraction. They hired white architects to reimagine an exoticized theme park version of Chinatown. The new buildings had curved eaves, detailed facades, colorful tiled roofs, and Chinese pagodas, which were typically reserved for religious structures in China. But it worked. The city planners backed off and Chinatown thrived, with a template for survival that would be replicated around the world.